Uh, hi my friend, welcome again. Please do not miss this curse. One of my followers asked me how do I know this coil is connected to the RAM circuit or PCH or CPU? How can I locate the current sense resistor and the coil that generates 19 volts, etc. So I'm going to answer this question in detail in this video. So thank you my friend for this question, very important. So guys, very important topic, let's break it down right now. So how can we know, for example, this inductor belong to which circuit? This IC belong to which circuit? Is it a charge IC? Is it a 3.3 volt IC or CPU RC? IC or RAM control IC or PCH etc. So as you can see guys we have inductors or coils everywhere in the board as you can see okay but I will not just answer about inductor but I will make this video very detailed and I will let you understand how we know this inductor belong to each circuit do Tantalum capacitor also, those MOSFETs, ICs, etc. So without wasting time, let's dive in. But please, my friends, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos. And of course, for anyone who wants to understand any topic, just post it in the comments, like our friend here. Sorry, I cannot read your name and of course i will make a video a special video about that comment and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page and also you can check my website my facebook group all links in the description so guys i will show you and teach you two methods the first method to detect the circuits the inductors the mosfets etc belong to which circuit is a little bit for intermediate level and the second method for beginners absolutely for beginners but anyone can use it let's begin with the first method that i consider for intermediate and expert and then move on to the second method for beginners the first method guys is to understand the motherboard okay so you have to understand the motherboard architecture to understand the motherboard architecture you should first understand the schematic and of course i have a lot of videos in my channel about schematic where i teach you schematic architecture okay that's why i consider this method for intermediate and expert because i can just look to the inductor and I know, for example, this inductor is for RAM circuit. This I see for RAM circuit. This is the RAM circuit. Just by looking to the inductors. When I look to the circuit, without guessing, without wasting time, this is 5 volt, 3.3 volt. Based on my experience and based on my deep understanding of motherboard architecture, and schematic why this is for 5 volt 3.3 volt because always for 5 volt 3.3 volt we find two channels next to each other one channel and another duplicated channel where you will find same component inductor electrolytic capacitor inductor electrolytic capacitor two mosfets for this channel two mosfets for this channel we have the input capacitors filtering ceramic capacitors three here we have three here so what's missing here in this circuit to be complete is the ic is it this one it could be this one but we have to locate for the nearest ic it could be this one but if we have another ic in the back of these channels it will not be this one let's check exactly here in the back exactly let's check it let me check guys this is the back means this is the 3.3 volt 5 volt ic how based on my experience why because i told you this method is for intermediate and expert do you see guys you see this ic here we have about one inch 
okay do you see one inch if we go to the other side do you see guys we have about one inch here from this corner we have one inch we have the circuit if we go back we have about one inch we have the ice so this is the three volt five volt ice same for this one why this inductor belong to the ram circuit guys please for beginners don't panic i'm going to teach you the easiest method just wait a little bit please so for this inductor this inductor basically is the inductor that feed the ram y and also this ic this is the ic for the ram so this is the ram circuit we have inductor we have ic what about mosfets let's see remember this tricks here guys let's see do you see this tricks over here we have mosfets as you can see we have three capacitors for the input about one inch okay if we go here also we have the ram inductor we have the ic about also one inch distance okay so this is ram circuit and of course here once we don't have the cpu here so this one is for the ram also if we go to the side we have another inductor so this one also is for the ram and this is the ic basically that generate of course here it generate 1.8 volt for the ram and this one generate the vdd and the vdd and here guys also we have other inductors as you can see so basically for the processor okay for the processor it has more than one channel okay it has more than one channel so if you look here we have one inductor here we have another here we have other two inductors over here so this processor have basically two channels it could be three channels but because this two here has the same size means this is the two channels that belong to cpu circuit this one also could be for the cpu circuit and here we have the pch and we have this inductor here near to this ic this one is belong to the pch and once we have this inductor between the cpu and the pch so this is for buses this is basically vccp about 1.05 volt why because it is in the middle so it feeds the buses to communicate the data between the cpu and the pch and for this part guys very easy once we have here the power jack okay so we have two switches here means this is the input this is the charge ic and once we have this inductor near the battery connector so this inductor is for the battery to charge the battery and also the switch is for the battery i hope that you understand the first method intermediate and for experts okay where you can just spot the circuit just using your eyes without data sheet without multimeter but let's move on to the second method for beginners absolutely for beginners of course intermediate level and also experts can use it but i consider it for beginners who doesn't understand the motherboard architecture 